Now developing right now, Larry Nasser is not going to face any new criminal charges, and that is despite 60 new complaints being reported since the first day of his sentencing going back to January 16th. Michigan State confirmed that makes almost 200 total complaints now filed with university police. All this as senators from both sides of the aisle call for a special investigation into the U.S. Olympic Committee and USA Gymnastics. Jason Colthorpe is following that part of the story for us today and joins us live with more, Jason. Yeah, and it comes with some new legislation, guys, that is now through the House and the Senate that would require amateur athletic governing bodies to report any allegation of sexual abuse to authorities. There will also be a special committee that will compel testimony as it looks into the USOC and the USAG. On the cusp of the Winter Olympics, Congress has the U.S. Olympic Committee and USA Gymnastics in its crosshairs. 290 coaches and officials associated with the U.S. Olympic sports organizations have been publicly accused of sexual misconduct since 1982. 290. That is not acceptable. A special bipartisan committee that will be at least 50% women wants to know who knew what about Larry Nasser and when, namely USOC CEO Scott Blackman. Why didn't the USOC and USA Gymnastics not take immediate action to remove him when the horrifying allegations were brought to their attention in 2015? The new legislation that would also increase oversight of local coaches comes on the heels of the emotional testimony at Nasser's sentencing. The father who asked for five minutes alone with Nasser struck a chord with Senator Debbie Stabenow, an MSU alum who lives in that area. Now, as a mom and as a grandmother who now has a, a young granddaughter in sports, uh, I thought, you know, I would have liked five minutes with this guy. I only wish that the security had been a little slower in constraining him till he could have gotten a couple of punches out. Yeah, if that seems a little surprising, Senator Tillis, who was also there, was caught on a hot mic when this was over, echoing Senator Stabenow's feelings there. there I know there's no timetable for these hearings, but they are hoping as soon as the budget is finalized and all done with, they can move forward with this pretty quickly, guys. Any sense that some of the survivors will testify this time around? Yeah. They're not sure. They don't, they don't require it because they don't want to. They have the testimony from mm -hmm. before, so they don't need that, but they... Um, they, don't be surprised if you do see them. They were very inspired by what Ali Raisman said sure. and some of the other gymnasts. So if you see them in Washington with this, I would, yeah. wouldn't shock me. Wouldn't be yeah. surprised. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Jason, thank you.